tiny UK island where Princess Charlotte, Prince George and Prince Louis can enjoy holidays. The Prince and Princess of Wales are preparing for their summer holidays after what has been a challenging year for the royal family, following King Charles and Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis. While the royals have many holiday spots and residencies they can choose to visit, there is one particular place off the Cornish coast that is known to hold a special place in their hearts, the Isles of Scilly. The Waleses are known to have taken their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis to the stunning archipelago, which consists of around 140 islands in total, with only five of them being inhabited. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. It's believed the Prince of Wales spent time at Tamarisk House in St. Mary's when he was a child as well as with his own family. St. Mary's is the largest and most populous of the Isles of Scilly, which spans just over six square miles and is home to around 1,800 residents. The stunning mid-1960s property sits on a quarter acre of land, boasting four bedrooms and is largely concealed by tamarisk trees, for the royal's privacy. Another place the royals have been spotted at is Tresco Island, the second biggest island of the Isles of Scilly. Back in 2020, a holidaymaker who spotted the whales is told the sun, we hardly noticed at first as they seemed a normal family on holiday intent on keeping themselves to themselves. The place where they were staying was quite modest and certainly not hugely luxurious. Another source said, the Cambridges and Royal Protection Officers took a flight by helicopter to Tresco. Prince George, who recently celebrated his 11th birthday, has successfully completed year 6 at Lambrook. Unlike most children his age who would be preparing to start secondary school in September, the future king's journey is somewhat unique. George and his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, have been attending Lambrook School in Berkshire since September 2022. The school is conveniently located a short distance from their Windsor residence, Adelaide Cottage, and is set within 52 acres of the Berkshire countryside. The school boasts impressive facilities such as a golf course, swimming pool, theatre, sports centre, and various art studios. A diverse range of activities are on offer including tap dancing, bagpipe playing, and swimming. Lambrook distinguishes itself from other schools in several ways. For example, students are required to attend school six days a week, including Saturdays. Moreover, it caters to pupils aged between 3 and 13, up until year 8, which means that Prince George still has two more years left at the school. Prior to joining Lambrook, George was a student at Wilcox Nursery and Thomas's Battersea School. As for where George will continue his secondary education, it remains uncertain. However, one strong possibility is Oundle School in Northamptonshire, known as one of Britain's leading co-educational boarding and day schools. If George does choose to attend, it would mark the first time a male heir has attended a co-educational school. There's a potential royal shake-up afoot as young Prince George may not tread the educational path laid before him by his father, Prince William, and grandfather, King Charles. Both these distinguished men attended the prestigious Eton College in Berkshire alongside Uncle Harry. It was once whispered that Duchess Kate would insist on Marlborough College, her own alumni institute, for her eldest son. Princess Diana's daughter-in-law, plus her siblings Pippa and James Middleton, and Princess Eugenie all boast Marlborough credentials. Not forgetting, of course, St. Andrew's University where the university sweethearts first crossed paths. Yet the tide seems to be turning against Marlborough, thanks to its image growing ever more flamboyant, pulling in the global jet-set elite unlike during Kate's tenure. Passing comment on the shift, a palace insider stated, the 2024 version of Marlborough may be quite different from how Kate remembers it. It's become a little more jet-set. Lots of parents have villas in Ibiza, chalets in Verbier or a private jet, which isn't Kate's style. She prefers understated wealth. Intriguingly, 
Bandle School is starting to look like a front-runner. The fact that Charlotte and Louis could also be pupils is an appealing prospect for the Wales family security detail.